Okay, so here we're going to be looking at the income and substitution effects for what's known as a Giffen good. Okay, so a Giffen good is one where when the price increases, the consumer demands more of that product. Okay, so demand function is upward sloping, which is kind of weird, right? Um, prices go up, you want more of it. Um, it's known as a Giffen good because it was allegedly reported by Robert Giffen, a British journalist who in the 1800s uh, noted that this was a pattern that he, he believed he saw for demand for potatoes. So uh, 1800s in, in um, Ireland, uh, part of that time period was known as a potato famine, a uh, huge famine, um, and, um, and um, you know, price of potatoes were very high, people were starving, in some sense all they could afford was potatoes, okay? Uh, and it's been reported in more modern times also for, for um, rice for some households in China, for instance. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this case. Uh, it's uh, you know potentially relevant in some cases, uh, and it's also useful for understanding how um, income and substitution effects together are determining um, uh, the slope of demand. Okay, so uh, let's, um, without further ado, let's uh, get down to business. Uh, okay, so as before, we're looking at the case of two products, uh, just to make it simple. So we have one that we call E as before, could be entertainment, but you know, could be anything. And we have another one, uh, say, think of rice. Okay, so as we said, that's an example of a given good for, for some households. Um, okay, so there's a budget constraint, E. How much E can this household purchase? Well, it's given by the income over price of E minus the price of rice over the price of E times the amount of rice that uh, this individual or this household is purchasing, okay? Rice like this. So let's uh, illustrate the budget constraint and the chosen bundle. Um, so we have a budget constraint like this. Uh, we have a chosen bundle where the um, but the constraint is tangent to the indifference curve. Indifference curve. And the slope here is PR over PE as, as here. Okay. Now assume that the price of rice goes up. So it increases to P, uh, not R, to PR. M as in new, okay? Um, that's going to be associated with a new, steeper uh, budget constraint, something like this, right? So we have what we have here. Well, this is P R N, this higher price of rice over the price of E that we assume is, is unchanged. And we I have a point of tangency with uh, the new indifference curve, the highest indifference curve that this individual can reach when uh, when the price of rice is, is higher. Okay, so when the price of rice is higher, this will be associated um, associated quantity with the lower price of rice. This would be the associated quantity. Okay, so we have the total effect here, effect being this large, uh, price of rice goes up. And note here, this is positive. So the price of rice goes up, and this consumer is consuming uh, more rice. Okay, so that's uh, that's. Uh, the whole point of uh, of the Giffen good. And we're now gonna be saying, okay, what in terms of income and substitution effects is driving uh, this uh, somewhat paradoxical result, okay? Okay, so we first look at the uh, substitution effect. So we let, uh, we keep this individual at her old indifference curve and let her meet the new relative prices. Okay, so if we're thinking of a hypothetical budget constraint that has 
the same slope as the new uh, body constraint reflecting the new higher price of rice. This would be associated with a choice, the point of tangency, where, um, where um, the old indifference curve is tangent to the new body constraint or to the new hypothetical body constraint. So as, as usual, this is, uh, or as usual, this uh, we have a substitution effect. Okay, so the price of rice goes up. If we're compensating this individual, she would choose to purchase less rice, okay? And rice has become more expensive relative to everything else. She's compensated, so she can still have the same utility level. Well, she's going to be purchasing less rice, okay? Yeah. How much? Well, that depends on the slope of the uh, of the uh, indifference curve. Okay, so here, if rice and other products are uh, not very uh, strong um, substitutes, it's not all that easy to substitute. There's going to be a relatively limited substitution effect, and that's going to be uh, pushing in the direction of uh, Giffen. But it's hard to substitute away uh, from rice when when the price of uh, rice goes up. Okay, so a limited substitution effect. So that's going to be one part of it. And then the other part of it is, well, looking at the income effect. So what's going on here? Well, the income effect is going, we're thinking of that as parallel shift downward of the um, of the budget constraint. You know, um, you're getting less money. What is the effect of that on how much rice you're purchasing? So if rice is an inferior product, when you have lower incomes, you want to buy more of it. Uh, you, know, you can afford less things. You focus on the things that you can afford. So lower income, um, you buy more rice. So the income effect here uh, is pushing in the opposite direction from the substitution effect. Rice becomes more expensive. That means that you want to switch away from it. But on the other hand, it's like you have less money. Uh, you know, rice is sort of the only thing that you can afford in some sense. Okay. So the income effect is difference between... Uh, the point where you have um, substituted and the final point. It's the effect of the parallel shift uh, on your on your demand. Okay, so let's do that in uh, say green. So the income effect. Okay, so when we looked at um, substitution income effects for uh, inferior good in general, uh, you know, the income effect was also pushing in the opposite direction of the substitution effect. Here, uh, a Giffen good, what's happening? Well, it's uh, more likely that they have a Giffen outcome if there's a small substitution effect and if the income effect is strong. So the, the good is very inferior in some sense, okay? So uh, here we see how these two, two effects um, result in, in the situation where higher prices of a necessity like rice or, or um, potatoes is pushing demand even higher. And you know, this is this is how um, how disasters happen. Okay.